Greetings. This devotion is for the 4th of December, and the reading comes from the 11th chapter of the book of Acts, verses 19 through 26. Now those who were scattered because of the persecution that took place over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, and they spoke the word to no one except Jews. But among them were some, some men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who on coming to Antioch spoke to the Hellenists also, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number became believers and turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced, and he exhorted them to all remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith, and a great many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for an entire year they met with the church and taught a great many people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. So the, the, this actually is a is uh, reading tells us a few a few things that were going on in this in this earliest of church, uh, certainly. Um, it points out that the difficulties that the earliest church endured, right? their belief in Jesus basically scattered them. And, and that certainly meant they lost jobs. They had to walk away from family. They, 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 they in some ways, were running for their lives, depending. Right? So, so this scattering was significant. And they also left their home area which would have been what we understand as the, the area of Israel and, and pretty much um, scattered about. Right? It also begins to tell us that the message of Jesus, just quite naturally, um, other than what Paul was doing, right? but this is, this is now by the people who are out talking about it, was spreading outside of the Jewish region. Right? When, when it talks about, um, spoke to the Hellenists, um, that pretty much are those of Greek background or Roman, that kind of thing. Right? So, and that whole process in Antioch gained support from the church in Jerusalem. So there was a sense here, you, you see in these short verses, how, how this earliest church was beginning to form, how they were beginning to gain an identity. And note, one of the key pieces of the identity is where the people who believed in Jesus told others about Jesus. Right? Even as they were being scattered about, what they were doing was talking to others about Jesus. The other church knew that following Jesus mattered, and they were willing to take on risk to do so. That's our key, right? That's the key piece of this lesson. Certainly, we're not going to put our lives on the line. But we are called to that absolute same level of commitment. And people would come to believe in Jesus. And they do so because of our witness to them. Join me in a prayer attributed to Francis of Assisi. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith, where there is despair, hope, where there is darkness, light, where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying 
that we are born to eternal life. Thank you.